Hey guys, it's Lacey. In the last video, we talked about the new logic gates from the automation update, but we didn't really talk about how to use them. Luckily for us, we don't have to invent circuits all by ourselves. Electrical engineers have been building real life circuits with these types of logic gates for decades, and we can look at their diagrams and designs for inspiration. One of the very first logic circuits that engineering students learn is an SR latch. SR in this case stands for set reset. In this circuit, one input sets the output and the other input resets the output. And this is what it would look like if you built this circuit in game. We have two OR gates and two NOT gates. Each OR gate has an input from a switch and an input from a knot that is connected to the output of the opposite OR gate. You can connect your gas pump, whatever, to one of these knots. This here is my set switch. When I flip this switch, it turns the pump on, yay. But I can flip this switch as many times as I want and it won't do anything until I reset the circuit with the reset switch, which turns the pump off. But then I can't do anything with this one, no matter how many times it goes up and down. But then I can use this one to turn it back on again. And then I can use this one to turn it back off again. Okay, so let's look at a practical application. I've switched out our normal switches for Atmo sensors. And let's say we wanna keep this room between 800 grams pressure and 1000 grams pressure. So we know that our set input activates the pump. So we want to set that switch to the upper limit. So I've set it to above 1000 grams. That way, whenever it goes above 1000 grams, the pump will turn on. And we know the reset switch will turn the pump off whenever it becomes active. So I've set it to below 800 grams. Okay, so let's see this thing in action. So our pump is pumping now and we're getting quite low. We're almost there. Let's kick it into a little bit faster so we can get there sooner. Okay, so this kicked off. And now we just need to wait for this one to kick off and switch the pump off. This may take a little bit, so I'll probably fast forward through it. Sound like a chipmunk a little bit through here. Let's watch it in this view. Aha, there, it turned off. And it's apparently nighttime for the duplicants. Good night, duplicants. Okay. So we turned this off, but this gas pressure vent is still going. So the pressure in here should raise again pretty quickly, and this should turn right back on. So there we go a practical usage. So this was just one example of how to use an SR latch. You could do the same thing with water levels, temperatures, all kinds of things. I'm sure you guys could come up with even better ideas than I ever could. There are also other ways to build SR latches. I'm gonna show me scrolling through some pictures of diagrams on the interwebs just to show you the variety there is. You can also build them in different form factors using the same principles. This is set up exactly like the one below, except I've made it more compact. All of these different SR latch designs pretty much achieve the same thing. They all have two inputs, one of those inputs sets the output, making it active, and the other input resets the output, making it inactive. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. If you'd like to see more, then please hit that subscribe button, and also please come hang out with me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern when I live stream on both YouTube and Twitch. Also, always remember you are special and amazing, and I really like you just the way you are. You're great. Know it. Okay, I love you guys. Bye!